happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another poly gel review for you all rosalind was kind enough to reach out and wanted me to review some more of their poly gels i do have a full review on some of their glitter poly gels that i've used previously so i will uh, leave that video link down in the description box below they asked me if i wanted to review some more of their poly gels and of course i said yes because i had such a amazing time working with their other ones and so they sent me their nude poly gel as well as their slip solution so let's take a look well i'm gonna look at the slip solution first actually all right so yeah, let's see oh that's nice okay well it comes with a dapping dish it comes with a brush okay and then it comes with the slip solution well, that's pretty nice. I wasn't expecting all of that to come in there. Okay, so essentially they say it's an odorless slip solution that prevents the brush from sticking to the poly gel. So that is pretty cool. So you get 120 ml, which is four fluid ounces. So that's a pretty big, that's a pretty big bottle of uh, slip solution there. So let's see if the odorless claim is true. It is odorless. It doesn't smell like anything. So that's nice. Um, I am going to go ahead and just use the dappin dish that it came with also going to use the brush that it came with that's really nice that they provided a brush for it and the brush seems really nice and firm so that's pretty nice okay and so yeah let me go ahead and uh, swatch this nude poly gel you all know one thing that I really enjoy about their poly gels is that it come in a 60 ml bottle so it's actually two fluid ounces which is like really huge most poly gels only come with 30 ml so I love the big tube that you get of it so let's see what this color is looking like. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this beautiful nude color here. Okay, like so. Yeah, the slip solution seems to work really well. It's not sticking to the brush at all, which is nice. And it kind of looks like more of like a jelly nude color. I think I put too much poly gel in here as well, but yeah, it's kind of like a, a jelly nude color, which is really nice. Very pretty. Okay. Yeah, super easy to work with, nice and smooth. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what the nude color is looking like. It's a very pretty, sheer nude it's kind of on like the jelly side and i really like it it's just a nice everyday nude color yeah y'all i know she cute though ain't she <laughs> hey i do have a full tutorial on how i got this beautiful set so i'm also going to leave that link down in the description box below but yeah i'm going to take these off and then we're going to get into a quick look okay happy people i am back and i've decided to go in with the femi beauty slash lazy girl method so i have my coffin tips already sized out and ready to go and and I think I'm going to go in with this beautiful chunky loose glitter that I got from Amazon. And I think I just want to do like some glitter tip ombre kind of nails. So um, I am going to go in with uh, my gel and base coat here. And I'm just going to apply that to the inside of all of the nails. And that's just going to allow um, for me to have a wet surface to be able to put the glitter to and also allow for better adhesion of the poly gel to stick to the inside of the nail tips. So I'm just going to go in like so. And I'm going to take my loose glitters here. And I love that these are just like really nice chunky glitters. Dotting tool pen here. I'm just going to dab into the wet base coat. And then I'm gonna pick up my glitters and just spread them into the tip of the nail. So when working with the chunky glitters, I found that it's easiest to just pick up one glitter at a time or one chunk of glitter at a time and then just place it exactly where you want it to be um, on the inside of the full cover tip. That wet base coat is going to help you be able to slide the um, glitter around. And you also want to make sure that you flip the nail around and just check for where the glitters are placed just to make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. And now I'm going in with my gooseneck lamp to flash cure all of the glitters into place. It's really important when you're flash curing the glitters and 
in place to use your tool to help press the glitters down into that wet base coat so that um, there aren't any air bubbles um, in between the actual glitter and the tip itself that looks good to me so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process actually on all of the nails so I actually forgot how much I enjoyed using the lazy girl method when I'm doing poly gel nails on my channel I have tried to sculpt my nail with poly gel a few different times and each time I've done it my nails have come out super thick and so I definitely still need to practice that technique more but yeah my go-to when I'm doing poly gel nails is definitely doing this lazy girl method it's just so easy to do um, in total to add the glitter to the inside of all of these nails with the base coat that only took about six minutes and then even just to spread that poly gel out which you all will see soon um, on the inside of the nail I think that only took me like another like five ten minutes so I can do a full set including prep in like 45 minutes doing the lazy girl method which is really nice and why I enjoy doing it now I'm going in with my Maran peel off base coat you all know this is my favorite peel off base coat um, I did not prep my nails at all because I do plan on popping these off within like a day or two and after the peel off is applied I cure for 60 seconds now I'm gonna go in with the Rosalind slip solution and then I'm also gonna use the little brush that came with the kit just to see how that performs and then I'm gonna go in with my nude poly gel uh -oh. Ooh, that seems kind of loose And with the poly gel, a little bit definitely goes a long way. So I'm just gonna dip inside of my slip solution to have a little bit off. So when doing the lazy girl method, you'll wanna take just a little bit of the poly gel inside of the nail tip, and then you'll wanna use your brush to really smooth that poly gel down the whole length of the entire nail. So I normally do that from sidewall to sidewall and just kinda really kinda of pull the product down a little bit all the way towards the tip like so that looks perfect now with the femi beauty lazy girl method a little bit definitely goes a long way so just bring it all the way down here like so and that's it. And when you have the nail tip how you want it, you will just take it off of the stand like so. And you will see here that the nail tip is really good and ready to go. And from there, I will just take the nail tip and put it onto my natural nail. And with this, you just wanna apply light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. And once you have it where you want it to, where you want it to be, you can come underneath the nail and smooth it out and or remove any excess product so i'm just going to be smoothing it out here like so i remove a little bit of it here like so and then if any other product spills out along the cuticle or sidewalls I'm just going to go in and clean it up like this. And that looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. So this is how the nail is looking thus far. Next I'm going to go in with my middle finger and repeat that same process. Again, you'll just want to take a little bit of the poly gel at the cuticle area. And this should be enough for the entire nail. You want to take a little bit of the sip solution on the brush and really just kind of pat that gel all the way down the length of the entire nail. Like so. I actually probably added too much product here. But a little bit definitely goes a long way. Okay, happy people. So when doing the lazy girl method, you just really need a thin layer of the poly gel inside of the full cover tip. And if at any point you do have too much, product all you need to do is take some out and then wipe it away um, that way um, it's, it's not too thick underneath the nail okay and then what you can do too is as you're doing that you can flip the nail over to check and see if the glitter and everything is where you want it to be that's looking good to me so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then you want to just apply it to your natural nail like so going in at the cuticle 
and then slowly pressing down like pressure like pressure like pressure okay and then any spillage that you have underneath you can go through and either smooth that out or remove the product I think I have too much product so I'm just going to remove some of it here and then continue to smooth out and then on the front you do light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. And then you'll want to go through and just clean up anything around the side walls here. Like so. That's what the first two nails are looking like. I'm going to go through and repeat the process on the rest of my fingers and I'll be right back. So this is what the nails look like after I have applied each of my tips using the lazy girl method. And now I'm going to go in and file shape and buff the nails. Before I do that, I do want to go in with a little bit of alcohol so that I can clean the entire surface of the nail. I'm just going to go ahead and spray my nails down, getting them nice and saturated so that I can clean the alcohol off of them. And I will go through and do this twice just to make sure everything is off the, the surface of the nail. And you want to make sure you do this so that you don't end up accidentally clogging or messing up your nail drill with the sticky inhibition layer. So I do have my drill bit with the sanding band on it. I'm just going to turn that on and go around the cuticle area and clean it up. When going around your cuticle and side walls to clean up the um, poly gel that have spilled out, you want to be very careful so that you don't nick yourself. That has happened to me in the past. Um, so just make sure you take your time when you're going around and cleaning up that area. Now I'm just going in with my young nails file and crispening the shape of the nail. And then I'm also going to be buffing the surface to prepare it for top coat. So this is what the nails are looking like after they've been file shaped and buffed. Y'all, honestly, I kind of like this matte look. Ain't that kind of cute? Yeah, that matte look a little hot though. I'm going to go ahead and top coat the underneath of the nails. I found that when I do the lazy girl method, top coating is the easiest way to make sure there's no debris and dust that gets caught underneath there. I'm going to go in with my top coat from Double Dip Bella Vina, And I'm just going to apply that to the underneath of all of the nails. Give it a nice shiny finish there. Alrighty, so the top coat has been applied to the underneath of all of the nails and I do want to go in with just some simple line nail art. So I do have my um, 201 from Joss Love. I've really been enjoying using these gel liners, but I'm going to go ahead and just outline the tip of the nail with my liners. And so what I want to do is for each nail, I want to go up the side of the nail. like so and then the other side of the nail like so and then I want to go across the top of the nail like so and that's just me kind of outlining it to hopefully make the glitters pop a little bit more So I'm going to go ahead and flash cure this in place and then repeat that process on all the nails.
this is what all the nails are looking like after they have been lined. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bling tivity and a little bit of charm tivity because y'all know my sets ain't complete without it. So I did go through and I found some really cute charms here. So I have this really cute bow tie charm along with a little bit of bling. I'm just gonna add that to the cuticle of all of my nails. To adhere my charm, I am gonna go in with my Beatles um, rhinestone glue and I wanna apply my big bow tie to my ring finger. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the um, bling gel or rhinestone glue there. And this is a little bit of a chunkier charm, so I wanna make sure I add a nice amount so that it has something to cling on to. And then next I'm gonna go in with my Beatles top coat. That's perfect, I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. Woohoo, she is cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and top coat the rest of my nails, and then I'm gonna add that cuticle bling into the top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap some cuticle oil on, and we gonna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how she turned out. This is a really cute, simple nude with the glitter ombre French tip and a little bit of outlining to make it pop just a little bit, okay? So yes, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. It's really cute, really dainty, really pretty, and that little charm is everything, okay, y'all? So my final thoughts on the Rosalind um, Nude Poly Gel and Slip Solution. I do think that the Slip Solution works really well with the actual Rosalind Poly Gel itself. This nude color from Rosalind is a little bit on the softer side. I didn't have too hard of a time working with this simply because I did the lazy girl method, but I do think that if I tried to sculpt my nails with this poly gel, I'd have a hard time. But overall, I think these two products work really, really good together. So yeah, y'all, my only gripe I have about this set is that I actually applied my ring finger crooked. Y'all see how that mug is just leaning, leaning all the way to the left, okay? But the set still turned out super cute. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about my mani down in the comments below. I did on this hand do the lazy girl method using acrylic so if y'all are interested to see how I did that I will leave that down in the description box so yeah I hope you all enjoyed the video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope y'all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!